In this video we're going to start talking about the meaning of a percent. And so the word percent itself means out of 100. And so a percent always indicates a ratio or a number of parts out of 100. And so this is the reason why it's nice to compare things um, as percents is because they're always out of 100 or the same number of things. And we want to express each ratio in column B from problem 9 as a percent using the symbol percent. And so column, we're just going to go back up to problem 9 and look at column B. So here's column B. And so this is 84 out of 100, and so that would be 84 percent. This is 65 out of 100, and so this is 65 percent. And then 60 out of 100 would be 60 percent, and 70 out of 100 would be 70 percent. Okay, so that is um, problem number 10. Next, in this box, it talks about converting a fraction to a percent. So first we want to obtain the equivalent decimal form by dividing the numerator of the fraction by the denominator, and then move the decimal point in the quotient from step one two places to the right, and insert a placeholder zero if necessary, or multiple zeros if you need to, and then attach the percent symbol to the right of the number. If you want to convert from a percent to a decimal, then locate the decimal point in the number preceding the percent symbol, and then move the decimal point two places to the left, inserting place holding zeros if needed. Note that moving the decimal two places to the left is the same as dividing by 100, and delete the percent symbol. So one thing that um, is nice to remember this with is to put a D for decimal and a P for percent on your paper and then you can draw in this arrow and if you're going from a percent to a decimal you move your decimal to the left and if you're going from a decimal to a percent you move to the right and you just always want to remember to put the D and the P in alphabetical order. You always need to have the D on the left and the P on the right in order for this to work. Um, but it's kind of a, a nice way to remember which direction you need to move your decimal point. Now we're going to go through some examples. We want to write all of these, uh, oops I got a typo, that should not be an N there all the following ratios in percent format. So 35 out of 100, we can do this right away because it's out of 100, so that would be 35 percent. And there are a couple of ways that you can do this. You can do this division, so we could do 16 divided by 50, or you could multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2. If you do that, then you would get 32 over 100 and now you have it out of 100 and so this would be the same as 32 percent. Um, you'll get the same thing though if you do that division and let me bring my calculator back up. So if we take 16 and divide it by 50 we get 0 0.32 and to move from a decimal to a percent we're gonna move our decimal two positions to the right. So one, two, puts the decimal at the end of the number and that will give you the 32 percent that we got the other way. Again, eight out of 20, you could do it in either one of those two ways. Um, this time, if you want it to be out of 100, because this is a 20, we would have to multiply both by five. But we'll just do it in the division way. So take, um, whoops, it's because I was gonna say an eight, I wrote an eight, but we want eight divided by 20. So again, do this on our calculators, and we get 0 0.4. So remember, you can tack on as many zeros as you want after a decimal number like that, and it doesn't change your number. Okay, we don't need to tack on that many, but we do need to tack on one, because to go from a decimal to a percent, we have to move our decimal to the right two positions. So one, two, puts our decimal right there, and that would make it 40 percent. And we'll do the same thing for the last one, 7 out of 8. So we want to compute 7 divided by 8 on our calculator. 
and that gives us 0 0.875. Again, going from a decimal to a percent, we move it to the right two positions. And so that's going to put our decimal point right in between the 7 and the 5. So that would be 87.5%. In these next examples, we're going to convert from a percent to a decimal. And this time, we're going to drop off our percent symbol. And the decimal point is always starting behind the number if there isn't one there. So it's behind the 5 right now. And remember, when we're going from a percent to a decimal, we need to move our decimal point to the left. So one, two positions puts it right in front of the seven. And I always like to have a zero in front of my decimal numbers so that it doesn't get confused with multiplication. And here we have 3.5%. So again, I'm just going to write this as um, 3.5 over here. So now our decimal point is in the number, so we don't have to worry about that. But I dropped off my percent symbol. And we're moving two positions to the left. And so I need to add that placeholder 0 because there wasn't two digits um, to the left of my decimal point. So 3.5% um, is the same as 0 0.035. And you're not wrong if you don't have this leading zero here before the decimal. It's just my preference. Now in example C, 200%. So again, I'm just going to drop off that percent. And whenever you have a whole number like that, the decimal is at the end of the whole number. And to convert this to a percent, remember we're going to move two positions to the left, and or, sorry, to a decimal. And so that's going to be 2. And you don't need to, the decimal point got moved right behind the 2, and you don't need to leave those zeros there. And in the last one here, we have 0.75%. So I'm going to write this as 0.75 without my percent sign. And I'm moving my decimal two positions to the left. So that would be 1 and then 2. So that means I need one placeholder 0, and it's going to be 0.0075. In this last example, we're going to fill in this big table, use the field goal statistics from um, a problem earlier from the 2008-2009 NBA season to express each player's relative performance as a ratio in verbal, fractional, decimal, and percent form. Uh, round the decimals to the nearest hundredth if you need to. So hundredth means two decimal places. So um, Wade from the Miami team made 854 out of 1,739. And so that's how we would do it verbally. So it would be 854 out of 1739. Fraction form would be the part 854 over the whole 1739. And then to get the decimal, we do that division that's represented by our fraction there. So take your top number, 854, and then divide it by the bottom number, 1739. And we want to round this to the nearest hundredth, so that would be 0 0.49. And we're not going to round the 9 up because um, it's followed by a 1. So 0 0.49. And then we want it written as a percent. So that means move this decimal two positions to the right. Remember, going from D to P means moving the decimal to the right. And so that would be 49%. And then for Bryant from LA, that would be 800 out of 1,712. The fraction form would be 800 over 1712. And then doing the decimal, take 800 and divide by 1712. And we want it rounded to two decimal places. I have 0 0.467. So that means I have to round the 6 up to a 7 because this number following the 6 is bigger than 5. So 0 0.47. And that would be 47%.
for James from Cleveland, it's going to be 789 out of 1,613. And, whoops, fraction form, 789 over 1613. Then we need to compute our decimal. And so that would be 789 divided by 1613. Oops, that was not right. And we get 0.489, so that means I need to round this up to 0.49. And so that would be 49% again. And then for Anthony, 537, or 535, sorry, out of 1,207. And then as a ratio, or as a fraction, it would be 535 over 1207. Now we want to compute our decimal. So we have 535, and divided by... 1207, and that gives us 0 0.443, so we're going to leave it as 0 0.44. And that would be 44%. And that finishes off our lecture on percents. If you have any questions, let me know.